Hi, welcome to this third video on a GUI based approach to machine learning for sports betting, namely um, horse racing. What I'm going to look at in this session is an idea that sprung really from uh, the Business of Betting podcast, which had a, an episode out this week in which the speaker was talking about simple models and the effectiveness of simple models. What I'm going to do here is try and create a simple model that gives a, a break-even scenario around the top two, three or four ho rated horses in each race. The idea here is that if you were to have such a set of ratings, you could then perhaps apply your own personal skill, your own personal form reading and interpretation, and produce a profitable approach to betting using this break-even springboard as a as a basis to work off okay uh, let's get started let's start by opening up a data file we're going to look at handicaps again from 2015 to 2017 i'm going to go through this fairly quickly because you'll have seen it before on previous videos i'm going to clear all the input features i'm going to select gradient boosting again because it's a pretty good algorithm for imbalanced data. I'm going to select a very simple model based on three input features. The day since the horse last run, the month the race is taking place in, that's the current race, and the percentage of horses it beat last time out. Let's create the model. This will take a just a few seconds to load up as it initializes things. Okay, we can see that the target feature is finishing position and then there's the three input features that I've just selected. Here's the baseline. If we were to back all horses, we would have lost 3.73% to Betfair SP, a variable return of minus 1.53%. Let's create the model and see how this simple model performs. takes a few seconds to run here we go now as you can see it's actually made a, a profit on the top three hundred points on the top rated 77 and then minus 54 on the third uh, I tend to look more at or in conjunction I certainly look at the variable profit uh, in conjunction with the flat rate profit because flat rate profit can be inflated with one or two big winners, whereas the variable stakes tends to give you a, a more realistic view of how things have uh, performed. It's made 21 points, 21 variable points on the top rated, minus 5 on the second top rated, and plus 23 on the third top rated. So it's actually making a profit on the top three. It's probably more break even on the top four if we go down as far as the fourth rated so this doesn't look too bad I mean if this was reproducible um, it would provide quite a nice base on which to make your selections um, you can see the feature importance down here so we have a, a simple system that seems to be reasonably effective at sorting the wheat out from the sh from the chaff what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how this same system or this same model performs on an extended data set I'm going to load up handicaps from years 2015 to 2018 and I'm going to create the same model the same input features month day since the horse last run and um, down here the percentage of horse, horses beaten last time out remember to set the model to gradient boost in these are all set correctly the event ID I mentioned what these are in the first video um, let's create this model and see how see how the model performs on a on an extended or an extra year it's going to use fivefold cross validation to uh, train and test the model Let's run it and see if we get some comparable results to the last last run that we did. 
here we go this one will take a little bit longer because there's more data okay as we can see it's also done quite well the variable profit on the top rate is minus 23 the second is plus 36 and the third is minus 3 so it's made a profit on the top three not quite as good as uh, when I ran it on 2015 to 2017 but still a very good solid base from which to apply your own form reading the flat the flat level profit actually did very well uh, making quite a hefty profit there was probably some chunky winners in there amongst the uh, amongst the uh, amongst the winners there's probably some long prices so this looks like a, a simple model that's beginning to look like it can provide a basis from which you can apply your own form reading particularly on the top three rated if there's interest in this I'll look I'll save this model and I'll actually load up daily selections or daily ratings from it onto the SmarterSig website and uh, perhaps you could use it as a, a basis for your own form reading uh, and a, a method of trimming a field down to a number of selections that you can then focus on okay as, as ever if you if you enjoyed the video or you have comments questions suggestions uh, please make comments uh, underneath the video and I'll try and get back to you thank you bye